Hi, I'm Ben, and this is a special edition of Sounds Like a Drum. We've got something really cool in store for you today, and that's actually the demo and kind of an unveiling of a prototype. This isn't on the market yet, and this isn't necessarily the final release, but of a brand new drum head uh, that is going to be coming out hopefully in the very near future. Uh, the company has asked that we do not refer to it given any kind of specific name because it is still in the naming phase, but uh, we're looking forward to sharing with you today what that drum head is. Before we dive into the details, I do wanna stress that this is not a paid advertisement. We were not paid or compensated in any way for this video, um, but that we were given the prototype free of charge and uh, we're very much looking forward to sharing that with you today. So uh, I, I do wanna mention that this is something that I think finally addresses what we've seen in the marketplace in terms of a, a shift in sonic perspective. Uh, a lot of people have been using aftermarket products to achieve this sort of sound. Um, and then at the same time as the, the heightened interest in boutique style and that handmade kind of cottage industry touch uh, that we've seen from a lot of the really successful smaller brands out there. We're starting to see that in the drumhead space. And so I'm just incredibly excited about what this could mean for the market as a whole for drummers, for especially for audio engineers um, who may be used to applying all sorts of different products to be able to get that depth, that fatness of sound, um, particularly from your snare drum, but who knows, we, we weren't given really much detail on this. It's entirely possible that we'll see this for floor toms as well. Um, and, and who knows, this honestly, this could be an entire line of new drum heads. Now the company has actually asked us to ask you for some help with developing a name for this product. So at this time, they, they really haven't put anything together yet for the marketing materials. So you have the greatest opportunity. You, the viewers of Sounds Like a Drum, have the opportunity to potentially name this brand new drum head. So please do leave your ideas for drum head names down in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe because we'll be doing all kinds of really cool tutorials and just ongoing experiments and demonstrations and myth busting and all kinds of wonderful things in the world of acoustic drum sounds. Now, I'm sure you've been waiting on the edge of your seat and hopefully you haven't scrolled past anything so far. If, if you have, if you haven't watched anything up until this point, please go back and make sure that you watch, rewind the video. Do people still rewind videos? Make sure that you go back and watch the beginning of the video up until this point so that you get the context of what this product is and what, what we're actually doing here today. So without further ado, I'd like to show you this brand new prototype drum head. This is it. Now, at first sight, it looks like it's, uh, it's definitely a prototype, um, but we are very impressed by the, the overall design. I don't think I've ever seen something like this out of a drum head. I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the EMAD, but then also uh, a little bit, I don't know, I, I've seen other, other drum heads that use similar types of technology or technology that's meant to produce a certain response, but this, this is just, this is, this is really a totally different beast. And so what we've been told here is there are these uh, tonal control cushions, uh, TCC, I believe, on the perimeter here at the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 3 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. Actually, no, you know what? It might actually be the 1 o'clock, the 7 o'clock. You know, don't worry about it. There are these four tonal control cushions that are actually built into the drum head. And then there's this, uh, this kind of looks like a, uh, an overtone control system around the perimeter here. And this is actually really interesting too because this is the first time that we're seeing a product for a drum head that actually doesn't feature a, a circumferential uh, control system. So it's, it's actually a little bit of a square, a rectangle, but also kind of a diamond, but I guess a little bit of a star. You know, the shape really doesn't matter. It's all about the sound. And so we really like to put this onto a drum and, and show you what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, before we actually mount this head, we have been given a set of instructions for some things that can be done to prepare this head in order to allow it to work as best as possible, really to conform to the shell. Now, in some cases you may have seen, especially some recent videos that showcase 
uh, an approach that involves crushing the collar. We're, we're not gonna do that today, um, and that's really because the design of this collar looks like it's actually meant to really nicely sit on the drum. And so there shouldn't be any need to compensate for the inadequacies of a product by adding more things onto it. And I think the manufacturers made it clear that that statement holds true just based on all the work that they've put into preparing this product to be able to create the sound that you're looking for right out of the box. Now, one thing that we do recommend doing is uh, it, it's a tap test. And this is, this is really the best way. In fact, I'm not sure, we probably don't even need to put it on the drum. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap it for you and then you'll be able to figure out what it's gonna sound like, so. I really like that. I think it's got a nice a nice amount of resonance and body. It has a really, really nice control of the uh, the upper mids. There's a little bit of a spike there actually in, it, it sounds like maybe the, like the 500 Hertz range. 500, like right around that area where you really get that kind of like boxiness. That's something I always like to, you know, just get a little bit more of. I'm really excited to hear what we're actually gonna get when we put this on the drum because I mean, as much as that tap test was great, I really do wanna hear what it's gonna sound like on the drum. So in reading the instructions that were provided to us with this prototype, we realized that one of the things that needs to be done um, to enhance the overall warmth of sound is to actually heat up the head. So the uh, folks at the manufacturer were kind enough to send us this convenient little torch. So we will uh, we'll be adding a little bit of heat, turning up the heat, so to speak, on, the, uh, on this drum head in order to get it all warmed up and ready to be added to the drum. Ow. They didn't really tell us how we're supposed to do this. I guess I'm just supposed to, I don't know if I'm just, I guess I just, you know. Okay, so now that we've got the head heated up and it's all warm and got all the tone we could possibly ask for out of this thing, I think it's time to finally put this on a drum. I don't know if I'm, how I'm supposed to align this. There's no logo on here. How am I supposed to know which way it goes if there's no logo? What do I align with the badge? Do I, the tone control cushions or? Maybe it's supposed to be a, I don't, I don't really know how it's supposed to go. We're just gonna put it on here. Okay, so now we're gonna be going through our traditional process for tuning up a snare drum. And if you haven't seen it already, make sure you go to episode one of Sounds Like a Drum where we talk about our process for tuning up a snare drum head. You can find the link right up there. You know, I should mention they made it really easy to do the star pattern with this because there's actually kind of a star on this. Okay, well, we've reached that point and we are super excited to hear this thing for the first time. You're gonna get to hear it with us for the first time because we actually have not yet hit this drum. Now, we should mention too that you're listening to this totally uncompressed. This hasn't been EQ'd in any way whatsoever. And if you're curious about what methods we use to actually record these demos of these drum heads and the different approaches that we take to tuning, make sure that you go back and watch the video in the upper corner right now that just outlines what our process is for audio here. So without further ado, That is really impressive. I just, wow, I, I honestly, I don't know what else to say. That's, that is really, really, man, I just, the tonal control cushions are really, that's what's gotta be. Well, I'm just speechless. I, I honestly don't know what to say, but if you have any ideas for what we should name this drum head, the manufacturer will be checking in the comments. So please do leave your response. If you've got any ideas, no idea is too crazy. I mean, this is all in the spirit of experimentation and creativity here. So if you have a name idea for this drum head, leave it in the comments below. And again, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to Sounds Like a Drum so you can see some slightly more serious videos that actually dive into the acoustic sound of drums and what we can do to achieve the greatest possible sound. And this is definitely the way to do it. Total control, tonal control, tonal cushion. I can't even say this. Tonal, 
The TCC? Okay, cool. Here's what we get. Oh, that's this isn't the this is the wrong one. Dear Ben and Cody, thank you so much for being willing to try out this new prototype. We really hope that you enjoy the sound and can help us come up with a name for it. Please find the attached lighter. Please find the attached lighter to help with the process of warming up the head. We gotta warm this thing up? You know, it kind of looks like a dream catcher or something, or a piece of wall or bullseye or something. Still, the material just looks so, so familiar. Okay, so I apply, oh, shoot. I think I put it, I, I burnt the letter. Is it, should I put the head underneath this? Or maybe this goes inside the drum? I don't know, I mean, maybe I could just like put it We got a fire extinguisher nearby, right? Whew. Man, that could be bad.